Um, okay, so I did this one hope. yesterday. Was it yesterday? I don't know. Maybe yes. You know, or a couple shows ago. Maybe I did a, a dragon NFT thing. I was like, all right, let's just do it. Another one. Let's just do another dragon one. Why not? This one though is uh, a play to earn. Well, I guess the other one was a play to earn game. This one looks like their game is. Uh, they actually have um, demos of it. So um, makes me think that this game is actually going to be be dropping here. Um, yeah, Meta Dragons. Oh, and then I'll go into the genesis. Of yeah, this give us the, too. give us the, um, so Meta Dragons is the very first win to earn NFT game where the prizes, rewards, and rankings are completely controlled by a smart contract. Very cool. That's a bold claim. This is the future true. of gaming and arcade NFTs are continuing to pioneer this space. We started making history in August of 2021 with the release of the first NFT video game on chain, our Genesis Pinball NFT. And we're excited to announce the release of the Meta Dragons, which is the first game to launch in a proprietary arcade arena. So basically, they have this arcade arena that's going to have, so they're just going to build more NFT games on it, right? And I'm assuming this arcade arena is this um controlled you know everything controlled by a smart track here uh smart contract um so it's i think that's pretty cool i you know i i'm all it, about games all about all about yeah, games I'm, that uh that include smart contracts right and i like Love the idea that, and then i did check out the genesis pinball thing like if you it, there's not as many of those um and they're pretty pricey on uh open if i uh, remember correctly when i was doing my little research here um so this team has already launched a successful project right right okay. so i mean they're yeah point. and so when you see like the That's when i point. saw like the art like the numbers here oh dang it all right let me just open up my discord here eventually you just gotta um, give in and open the discord uh right members here 880 uh 8900 right so okay. you got about nine thousand in, in your discord but they have other discords for their other projects, I'm assuming, right? So their network is, so. is is a bit larger. Um so and, and then also like there's there's you know, if you own one of the, the Genesis pinball one, I think you actually get to mint this one for free. So that's really increasing, I think, the price for those pinball NFTs. Um let's see what else we got here. So and I'm not yeah, I so I'm I'm assuming these are gonna be doing pretty good as far as selling um level up your dragon in arcade arena by manifesting your skills to climb the ladder of the price pool brackets for higher prizes um so basically holders of meta dragons will have direct incentives from a growing prize pool all minters will be able to claim a 3d printed arcade figure in the future cool minting gets you one free mint of the meta dragon skin release so i imagine there's going to be Different skins available that you'll be able Ooh. to get for your dragon. Uh, holders gain access to the arena brackets with their mega dragons. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. The NFT is dynamic and will evolve hmm. with your gaming success. Okay. It's cool. Now, there are other things that, uh, right, this, I'll get down here. Um, so, like I was saying, this is the first game that's going to be in their arcade arena. The arena will launch one to two weeks post mint. Uh, prize pools. Um, oh, it's on Arbitrum. Okay. Yeah. Arbitrum. Okay. Okay. Wait. Oh, um, interesting. This is on Arbitrum. Whoa. Okay. Uh, it's free. So, this is what I like about it because this can help bring on people that aren't familiar with NFTs and stuff like that and kind of bridge them over. This kind of type of stuff is smart because basically, um, you, you know, it's free to play, but right weekly tournaments for ETH. No Web3 or crypto wallet needed to play. All right. Connect Web3 play, right? Connect your wallet, right? If you wanted to get the uh, ETH prize pool, which, right, if you're playing for free, then you're going to be like, well, hell, why am I not going to play for a oh, prize? Oh, interesting. So, so you can play for people. free without connecting your wallet. Okay. Right. Now get this, though. Infinite number of players, top 20%. Of players every week when ETH 
if winners don't have a wallet connected, ETH goes to arcade oh, holders. Interesting. So that means that, like, okay, there's going to still be ETH involved. It's just if you're playing for free, you're not going to be getting it. So that's why I'm like, I like the idea because it really bridges people who are like, oh, I'll play this weird little game. Uh, I'll check it out. Oh, I kind of like this game. And hey, I could win ETH if I connect a wallet. I don't have one. Let me go get learn how to do this. Blah blah blah. You know how it all rolls. Yeah. Um, I know. I, so I just, I just see, I could see people. I'm not saying you know if they're going to be a giant popular game that's going to, you know, have millions of people flocking over to crypto from. Them. But you know, it, hey, just a couple is enough. You know. Um, Weekly tournaments. They've got like a bracket request. system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we, we're kind of repeating ourselves with a lot of this stuff here. I mean, and a lot of these um, are the, the the details of the game itself. Um, you want to quickly show that that little demo of the game just to kind of give everybody a, yeah. a little idea of what we're what we're looking at. So this here. is what the, believe they're saying. This is basically the game, and you know, um. It's it's nothing complex. There's several games and apps. Similar. Yeah. They're just like this, right? But not many of them give you this crypto. Web three, right? Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't win ETH. I like that eyeball just popped up. Yeah, it looks like you uh, get, you're like trying to get all the gems or something. Yeah. So what you do is you block. Like, have you ever played yeah, these games? Yeah, you try to block other people from. Yeah, and them. if yep. you smack, yeah, you, know, you yeah. get deleted if you smack them. Again, I'm not cool enough to have played games like this, no. But Dude, the uh, tune to this it is, looks is cool. fire. It looks cool. It looks cool. Yeah, it looks fun. Like I could see my kids would play that. You know what I mean? That's a game my kids would play. Um, they do play apps like that. So yeah, for sure. They'd be into this. Um so 20% of initial sales would go into marketing. Okay, not bad. 100% of secondary secondary sales will fuel the arena prize pools, right? Okay. okay 20% will go into the Dow Treasury. So very cool. I like this whole concept. I like the fact that it already has a team with already, you know, projects behind it. Um, that are kind of being a base layer for this. Uh, cool. And hey, this arcade, they, right? They keep fulfilling, you know, keep throwing in NFTs into this arcade. Yeah. <laughs> your kids yes yes matt's it's gonna going put his kids to, to work it, it would just go is that to child labor fund. is that technically child labor no they're paying for their college tuition man that's <laughs> not that's what i'm saying Be because you you invested all all the like, all their first college fund is in if, you, if now, you're, so. you're gonna play video games make some damn money doing it you know um no nah, anyway so yeah i think i don't know gms for this um well let's see okay show the art too let's see i don't even think we've showed what the actual nfts look like yet because not, um, none of this is what they actually look like uh no they oh look, it doesn't even show it on here they look wow. like here on the twitter i think i saw yeah here we go like this, this is what the artwork looks yeah. like the yeah. actual nfts yeah the actual NFTs, and these are and these are there's 2,525 of them, and they're minting for 0.25 ETH, right? Yes. They're so that, that is a price. So there's only 2,000 some of them. And yeah. if you saw the prices for their other ones, like basically they, they, every, they've released more NFT projects, like a, a couple more than their after their pinball one, right, through Genesis. So they have, so they have like, you know, you see the prices um, increasing or no, not necessarily increasing. The prices are actually decreasing, but the amount of NFTs available are increasing. So the next drop they have will have more NFTs to buy, blah, 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 right? So the price yeah. might be a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, it's kind of their 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 deal. It makes sense to me. I mean, they're, they're basically using the NFT sales to fund the future projects. Then they actually have the future project built. Then they're like, okay, let's drop another NFT project. You know, it, it's to me, it makes sense. Like, just just keep using NFTs to fund future growth and uh, keep developing games for the arcade system. I think the model seems pretty smart to me. Um, yeah, seems legit. Will they have to just start KYCing and stuff like that? You know, maybe who knows, but uh, maybe all play to earn games you'll have to start KYCing. That might be just kind of the future of it, but but with this, with this. With these uh, this team's track Oops. record, I'd say these guys are probably gonna are in it for the long haul, you know. 
Um, so yeah, man, I'm gonna give this probably a bit higher GMs. Mm. Like, yeah, this is definitely our best project today. I would say I don't want I, I, on the mint price is a little high for me, but uh, the yeah, I know, man, that's a tough one. That, that's yeah. a hard that's a hard mint to swallow, but I like when does this mint? Uh, this could mint pre sales tomorrow. Okay, I believe so. Yeah. Uh yeah, I mean, oh. I would say you know I like the game the isn't like too I complex. Love that game. Yeah, yeah, I just I mean, like that that it, it already game. kind of exists, or that it's like there's you know there's they've got something to show at least. Maybe it's not complex. Maybe it's essentially a template that you you know I mean uh like a GitHub you can just uh download. I don't know, but either way, I like that the game looks like it's gonna exist. It'll be launched shortly after the mint. And uh, they have a past successful project. I like that. There's a lot of things yeah. th to like about it, I think. I think I'll do like an eight. Yeah, if you're looking for play to earn games, right? If you're looking for play yeah, to earn like games. Pretty, this seems this like a decent a, one to stick this with. This at least uh, could be a decent one. Yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think. Just because, I yeah, and I think the arcade like seven and a half throwing in more games you know yeah seven and a half eight i was dancing around just because i i just i'm just knocking it a little for that price that's it yeah. but but uh that's that's yeah the price is pretty high for that yeah amount of utility right um yeah i agree cool, cool.